All right, guys, welcome to another episode of the Type 1 Lifting Podcast. I have a great guest, Tim Murray. He actually won Wheel Wad in the short stature division uh, in December. Dude, congratulations and th- welcome to the show. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so um, I, I, I just want to let you know up in the beginning. So I'm not too versed in like the short stature, you know, divisions and stuff like that. So if I sound like an idiot, uh, I'm not meaning to be an idiot. I just, I just want to learn. That's all. That's no, perfect. That's what we want. Like, yeah. You know, yep. So to uh, learn than to assume. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, is this? You're in Ohio right now. You live in there. Uh, I live like just south of the river from Cincinnati. Okay. Okay. Like, um, like I can look out, well, I can't look out my window, but like if I go out in my street, like I see downtown. Oh, cool. Very like cool. I'm that close. Yeah. So how, how's the weather? Is it, is there snow? Uh, or it's, it's been raining all week. We had snow and cold last week. So it wasn't, I prefer that almost, but like, <laughs> cause rain, it's warm, but like, I can't do anything cause I can't get the dog out and play. Like it's, True. I can't walk in. Like it's just miserable. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could, you can play with the dog, but the problem is it's going to get muddy and you have yeah. to wash it. And it's just like, yeah. you don't want that dog smell like in the house. No, that's so, the worst smell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, we, I had a yellow lab. Uh, it was actually my wife's yellow lab. We had it for 12 years and man, like every cool. time it went out to the, go to the bathroom, it was raining out. It just ca- came back and just smelled so bad. Like it was just like, yeah, you can't, Thanks. you can't get rid of it. Yeah, that's how Cap is. Like, it, my backyard's so small. Like, I live in the city, so, like, I have enough of a backyard to, like, be able to play. But, like, he just tears the grass up. Right now, it's just all mud. Like, straight mud. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm like, I'm not even going to bother with this right now. Yeah. So, what what was the reason why you wanted to get a dog? Uh, it's a good question. Um, I just, I mean, I'm not upset that I did, but, like, it, it was kind of during COVID. And like when everybody got a dog and, you know, I just wanted that companion and here he is like three going on four years later. And I yeah. had a, I took him to the sitter the other day and she like always talks about how like I, he knows when I'm there. Like he hears, he knows the sound of my car and like, I don't say anything. I don't make a noise. Like I just close my door and like, <laughs> he's going crazy. Like you're home, you're here. Let's go home. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so cool. So, yeah. um, with COVID and everything, like that, you, I know you were, I know you're working as a, um, where was it? Oh, uh, you're working as like a per, uh, like physical, th- physical trainer pretty much. Uh, like an athletic trainer. Yeah. yeah athletic trainer, so, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, the people you see run out on the field when a player gets hurt, like that, that was what I did. I worked, and you were, uh, and you were doing that at the Bengals, right? No, um, pro hockey, minor league hockey. Oh, that's right. That's that. right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, would not mind the Bengals, but I just I, I don't know. I like the I like the hockey side. <laughs> so is this is this like kind of like the semi pro where like they actually do still have fights and everything like that? Oh yeah, they got it all. Uh, these, nice. Like we're essentially like two levels below the NHL. Mm-hmm. So like we'll see. We've actually like had guys come down on like rehab assignments, like NHL contract guys. So it's like cool to like be able to work with them. Yeah. So what, what was your experience with them, you know, being a, being in your job and like actually talking to them? Are they pretty like nice guys or are oh, they just like stuck up? No, it's like, they all know they're there for a reason. Like they're at that level. Like if they were any better, they wouldn't be there. Um, but even like guys that we did have come down that were like, they might be down on the rehab assignment, just getting some games under their belt. Cause they didn't have any time to up the a or in the nhl like uh even those guys were like humble like we had one kid come down and like you know we all thought he was going to be kind of high strong like high like kind of very egotistical but like Mm. he was the exact opposite he was a kid who just wanted to play hockey (laughs) yeah which was awesome yeah it's like the love of the game pretty much yeah so i mean i love that kid like i hated seeing him kind of go but you know it was fun yeah do you get any of their gear at all that they sign for you and that stuff no, no not no. You, are they allowed to do that uh at this level no because it's not theirs like it's the teams oh yeah so like <laughs> their sticks maybe like i'll get a broken one here and there but you know, for the most part it's it wasn't like theirs to give i 
I didn't really care that much anyway. Like mm-hmm. I see them every day and I'm like, I'm tired of seeing you and your name. So <laughs> last thing <laughs> I want from you, unless you're going, if, unless I know they're going like, to the show, then like, you know, maybe I will. But yeah. other than that, I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah. So what, what was the reason why you, you went that path to do the job that you have now? Um, actually King Griffey Jr. Growing up in Cincinnati, I was a huge Reds fan. And then, uh, you know, not when he signed in Cincinnati in 2000, or I guess technically traded, whatever the whole like sign trade and sign, but yep. like, and then he just couldn't stay healthy. Like I was in high school, that middle school, high school when he got here. So you know, it was that time where I was like trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life and I wanted to be around sports. I grew up playing sports, grew up around sports, like watching it. My brother played, my cousins all played, my dad played. So it's like, I wanted to be just involved in sports, but I didn't want to do the front office side of things. Like I wanted to be down on the field. Mm -hmm. And then with Ken Griffey Jr., I was like, I want to be that guy that gets him back out there. Like that's who I want to be. And so I went the sports medicine route and, you know, I'm actually not doing that anymore i'm i switched over to the industrial setting yeah um better hours better pay so i was like i can't pass it up like i'm at that point in my life where just having that work-life balance was kind of important to me mm-hmm. yeah I, I when i was working at the hospital i would be i'd be working like three 12-hour shifts in a row and like yeah. working in the er is it's not for the I always tell people with working in the ER, you, you need to have a couple loose screws to work down there because you yeah. see some crazy stuff. It is yeah. like, it's almost like watching a video game. If you'll see, you'll see that stuff in the video game. And then all of a sudden, like, I'll, I'll be like, Oh yeah, I've already seen that. That was like yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> from all the, all like the gore. I've, I've spent enough time in an ER, like not for myself personally, but with athletes, I mean, work in hockey, like, something's bound to happen like mm-hmm. it's such a violent sport but um so just seeing the nature of you know what's down there like i can only imagine yeah yeah so are you are you born and raised in Cin- the cincinnati area yep okay born and raised. Oh, awesome so i you must be an ohio state fan at all nope oh not thank at all you. thank <laughs> not you at all. <laughs> thank you <laughs> but, uh, not at all. like i mean I like to see them do well because it means like everybody else in the area is happy and things are good, <laughs> but like, I'm not going to like lose sleep over them losing a football game. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. like kind of the same thing with Kentucky basketball, like you're living in Kentucky, like it's all Kentucky basketball. Mm-hmm. And so it's like the same deal. Like I want to see them do well, but I'm also like not going to lose sleep over them losing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So you said back in uh, back when you were younger, you were very into sports and all that stuff. So, what was it like for you growing up compared to like everyone else? Um, I had to work twice as hard. Uh, I, I I swam on my like on the school swim team, but it was more just to stay in shape than anything. Um, and then um. Like, I was also, like, hoping for that, like, off chance to make the Paralympic team. But I also, like, I didn't put the effort in mm-hmm. that I'm putting in now. Yeah. If I had the mindset I have now then, like, I probably would have at least made the team. I don't know, like, how it would have worked out. But um, I also, like, I played baseball. Like, made the baseball team my junior and senior year. Nice. And then, um, but it was, like, always, like, extra. I had to work extra hard to, like, earn that playing time. So it was... I didn't get a lot of starts, but the starts I did, I like, you know, made the most of it. So it was, you know, just working twice as hard to do it. They could make either make the team or make the field. Yeah. So um, were there times that people actually made fun of you for your stature and like, you know, your disability and stuff like that? And how, how do you, how do you handle that? Sometimes like not as much, like, cause the kids I grew went to high school with, like, most of them I grew up with either yeah. in elementary school or in middle school. So like I knew them. And even then, like if I had a kid that I didn't know, um, or like someone knew, like I still had the friends that I made that were around to kind of not necessarily deflect, but like 
back me up essentially mm -hmm. yeah so, i mean it it was still there but i had also like came back to them so it's not like i just let it roll over so hey i hear you i hear you so um obviously there's been a couple like name changes for your disability so there was like midget dwarf and so what is the correct term now for you know for um that's a good question uh i i'm i'm still kind of learning i guess um <laughs> the we we don't uh use the m word uh that was coined by uh pt barnum back then mm. in the circus days like oh okay then he uh debate or like his little freak show days so he was uh just using us like as a side attract like an attraction and uh like he was basically paying these parents like to buy their kids so that he could have somebody like different on his sh like in a show and people would pay him to come see them yeah and um so but Dwarf is the big one, like that's the main one. And then uh, Little Person is another one. Mm -hmm. And the Short Stature Division is uh, the next one. Like it's just, I don't, I, like I'm still new to CrossFit. This will be my third open, only my third open. So like I'm still learning that side of things as well. So I don't know how that, where that one came about. <laughs> yeah. I don't mind yeah. it, but I mean, it is what it is. What What do you prefer? uh honestly just call me by my name yeah <laughs> like i'm not particular about like you know what people call me like a dwarf is just kind of a funny funny word for me to say like i for whatever reason like i can't pronunciate it very well mm -hmm. so like little person's fine like okay. you had to describe the group yeah little okay people. i mean our group is uh little people of america so it's kind of what we you know you get, uh, identify as i guess yeah trying to use nowadays in 2024. okay okay all right your, your dog doesn't want you to do the interview <laughs> he's, he just wants attention yeah he's gotten all, it so much tonight <laughs> yeah all good all good um so so you you said you started crossfit like three years ago so why how did you get involved into crossfit well they actually announced the short stature division and that there would be money involved so i was like okay i it was that time of year or time like after covid where i was looking for kind of a purpose i guess if you will yeah like i'm the guy who can't like i have to train for a per like a reason like i can't just have just somebody uh kind of just doing like i just i can't just go to the gym just to go to the gym like I've never been that way. I've like always had to have a reason to kind of work out. And um, so then they announced that. And so I said, okay, I'm going to do it. Oh, sorry. I'm there you go. Um, so here I am three years later. Like I started it because of that. And then honestly, like the communities kept me here. Mm -hmm. Like I yeah. showed up to, I did, I was doing it at like a crunch fitness. I was finding, like I found a program online. So I was working yeah. out at a crunch fitness and, um, I had signed up for the open for that first year. And I showed up to the box I'm going to now and kind of fell in love with the group there, the people there. That's so awesome. That's what's kept me around. And they've been nothing but amazing for me. Yeah, that's awesome. I, I, I think it's like everyone starts at a global gym and then kind of moves their way into it. Because for, for me, I I did the 300 workout, which is almost like a yeah. CrossFit style oh, workout. Yeah. And so I did that like at least like twice, twice a week or something like that. And then okay. I downloaded an app, a CrossFit app. It wasn't even I don't think it was even affiliated with CrossFit. It just said CrossFit workouts and they did a daily workout. And so they're like, oh, do do like kettlebell swings or whatever like that and do something else. And I didn't have kettlebells, so I would use like a dumbbell and we use like one arm and like swing it between my like my legs. And I'm like, is this is how, is this how I do it? So yeah. it was and then and then I then I for me when I was in the Air Force, the the gym that they had, they had a they had a CrossFit gym in the in the actual gymnasium that they have. So they it's an affiliate. 
And so I was like, oh, I want to do this because this other girl in my unit, which I couldn't stand, which is like, I, I was like, she's like, oh, I'm going to do CrossFit. I'm on like a on ramp and whatever. And everyone knew, everyone knows I work out and stuff. And so I was like, I want to do this. And so I just walked into the class and be like, hey, I want to do CrossFit. And they're like, this. Uh, usually we have to do an on ramp, but I mean, you look pretty fit. So you could just, <laughs> just, if, if you have any questions, just let us know. And I was like, okay, yeah. fine. And so, yeah, I, I've never done an on ramp. I've just kind of learned, learned through video and like talking to the, the team over there. But that, that's how pretty much my life started with CrossFit. Yeah. It's kind of how, like I had a friend that was involved and he was like sharing with like his workouts, like his gems workouts with me. And I was doing the same thing. I was like, well, I know what this is, but is this the same thing? <laughs> like, I'm googling it. I'm asking him. I'm like, I don't know what any of these ter like this terminology is. Like, <laughs> I didn't know any of the like proper like form. Like, I didn't know the standards. So I was just like, all right, whatever happens, happens. And yep. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. So the the funniest one I I did was it was called the it was a, it was a bear complex, and so I had no idea what a bear complex was, uh, got bear complex was yeah and so i thought it was like sticking the bar over your head like a bear like rawr <laughs> and like and like try to squat down a little bit and then like come back up yeah and, and so finally like I, I googled it when after i came back from the gym and i was like that's that's not even close to what i was what you're supposed to do <laughs> yeah <laughs> but um so uh, obviously with a with you it's a little bit different for you know some of the workouts that you have to do. So like, what, what are the different things that you have to do compared to for, for like what I, what I have to do? So a lot of what we'll do, like we won't do uh, handstand pushups. Um, we'll do hand release, like with our, the way our spinal cords are like our, the bones are like pushing right on the spinal cord, like the spinal cord itself. Mm -hmm. So one wrong move and you know, we're paralyzed from, the neck down and Jeez. back down. So um, we limit that. So like our handstand walks, we take a piece of tape. It's the top of the tape to the top of the shoulder. And so hands go from one side to the other and then back, like, and that counts as the one rep. Um, obviously feet go up on the wall, but that's like the movement we make. And um, from there, what else do we do? Let's see, obviously distances are shorter. Yeah. So like our, uh, like our rowing is like, uh, I, when I train, I'm cutting it down by a quarter distance. So if it's an 800 meter, I'm doing 600. Yep. Um, same thing with running and all of that as well. I don't do the full, obviously thousand meter run. If everybody else is doing it, I'm doing the 800. Yeah. Or 750, I guess, would be technically a quarter of a bit, like a quarter to that. Mm -hmm. So, so for you, if you did Murph, you do like three quarters of a mile or something like that. Uh, Murph, I actually did the whole thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, this year I did the whole thing. Last year I cut it down because it was like right before our semifinals, or not this past year I did the full thing, but the year before I did it by like, like I did an 800 meter run instead of a full mile. But mm -hmm. this year I did the full thing. I was like, I'm, I'm going to do it. Who cares? Like something happens that happens. And I actually finished pretty quickly um, with the vest and everything. So I wasn't what, too upset about it. What was your time? Oh, I wrote it down. I have to go find, I have to find it. I don't remember what it was. Was, but, was it like under 50 minutes? Yeah, it was, uh, I think it was under 45. Even. Holy shit. Uh, I mean, my pull-ups aren't as far. Like, well, true. That was where, like, I was able to fly through that. I didn't do the, um, I did it kind of stand, like, uh, I did a chipper style. So I did, like, 5, 10, 15 mm -hmm. of everything. So I was like, I'm not going to not, uh, you know, not do it the way. Like, I'm not going to give myself rhabdo trying to... <laughs> Do well, this one workout. <laughs> well, I'm the idiot that goes straight through. So straight through, geez. yeah. It, and I'm and I'm six six, so it doesn't really help my pull ups oh, and all that yeah. stuff. So. Wow. <laughs> Man, it's just that's rough. Yeah, I I think I did Murph at my gym all by myself, and there was no music at all because I couldn't oh. get I couldn't get to the 
the music at all. Yeah, it was. I try to get uh, under an hour. Yeah. And so I, I was. I think it was. I think it was pretty close. I think it was like one hundred three or something like that. But like okay. it was. And then other times I've done Murph. I've. I have rings, so I would do I would do Murph like in my basement. So I have like a whole gym in my basement. If I didn't go to the uh, to the actual gym, yeah. but we have like wooden rings, so I would do the pull ups on the wooden rings. Gotcha. And that was even worse because you couldn't get the you couldn't do like butterfly pull ups because you couldn't get momentum. Yeah, you so get you're doing strict the whole time. Oh, geez. Yeah, no, no bueno. That's tough. That is tough. <laughs> and plus, being being in Georgia with the heat and humidity, it doesn't oh, really help yeah, at all. Especially so. at that time of year, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's what like ninety there at that point. Yeah, and it, especially like so when I was working out in my basement, it was kind of cooler, but not really. But I would I literally have the windows open, the door open, and it was still like I'd still sweat, and like literally the my sweat would just dry off on the floor within yeah. like a couple seconds. Jeez. <laughs> no thanks <laughs> yeah <laughs> so luckily around this time like we get like that heavy humidity here like we're right in that ohio river valley so mm -hmm. it just all that air just sits here but um may like around memorial day time it's like not too bad like it's kind of that in between like we're going to start getting warm but like you know, if you do it early enough, like you don't deal with the heat as much. Yep. So yeah. I, I try to go about that like nine o'clock time because I don't want to get there too early, but I'm also like, I don't want to get there too late because mm -hmm. then yeah. it's just that sun and then for the mile run, it's just brutal. I agree. I agree. <laughs> so um, when did you realize you're starting, you're actually like really good at CrossFit? Um, I guess that first open. Cause like I walked in, like I actually had to teach myself how to do a handstand walk, like right before I went over there. Cause I saw the workout and I was like, what the hell is this thing? <laughs> <laughs> so I found the standard and then like, I looked it up online and I'm like, what am I getting myself into here? <laughs> so, uh, but it was kind of then like, they were all like, whoa, dude, like, you're actually pretty good at this whole thing. So, but, so it was, uh, and then obviously like I ended up winning it, the semifinals and there were still things that had, like, I, I didn't hit double unders really until this year, like about two months, three months ago, it was like not far before real wide that I like finally figured it out. And, um, I was doing like that double kind of double hop thing. Yep. I do like one, like two to one. So I was like yeah. doing more work. And then all of a sudden, like now that I've got them, I actually had a case of the yips like a week and a half ago. And for whatever reason, I couldn't figure out my double unders for a while. I was like, <laughs> it's so frustrating. <laughs> like, I don't know what is happening, but I don't know why I can't figure it out. But like, I got them back, which is good. Like, That's perfect good. Timing. So do, um, are you are you doing the crossovers now too? No, um, I don't even, I, I'm going to give it a while before I even attempt that. Um, mainly because I just figured out double unders. So I yeah. kind of get better at those and get, you know, but I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if Kevin Ogar decided to put one in for us come uh, semifinals or even the finals. So yeah, you need to start working on. <laughs> you need to get a beaded rope. That, that, yeah. that beaded rope is so key. So uh, the, I would definitely look into that probably by next purchase then. Yeah. And, and well, the, it's, I, I think I got mine on Amazon for like five bucks. Oh, okay. That's nice then. That's not yeah. bad. Yeah. And it, it was like, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying it out and I'm like, okay. Like I, I, it was a 10 foot rope that I have something like that. And so I'm like, oh, I wrapped it, I wrapped it once around my hand and I'm like, okay, okay this is, this, this is okay, but it's not really working. I just like, let it, let it all go. It's like the full 10, 10 feet. And it's like so much easier. So like the more right, slack so you have, the better. the better. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm not, I'm not saying you, I'm not saying you get 10 feet, but I'm just uh, saying. Like, get all... <laughs> yeah. yeah. I won't be doing that one. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but you said you, you, you won semifinals and then uh, did you make it to actual to the games or like, how does the games work um, for you, for you guys? So, 
we actually ended after the semifinals in 2022. That was like our finals. Mm -hmm. um, and then last year we just ended after the open. So the open was our finals, which like wasn't horrible because it allowed me to kind of venture into other competitions. Cause I'm like, I'm not like more fun, like just getting out and about, but um, it's also kind of, you know, we want that exposure and in order to get that exposure, you need to go a little bit further. But um, this year, everybody, we have our own adaptive games, uh, Yep. CrossFit adapt adaptive CrossFit games uh, like put on by Wheelwad, and um, we'll be doing the uh, the open obviously, then the semifinals, and and um, those will be all those both will be virtual, and then our finals will be September uh, 20, 20th through the twenty fourth, I think. I, don't quote me on the date, I, but it'll be in San San Antonio. Okay. Okay. So. I think I, I think those are the dates where Waterpalooza in California is. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of, because I forgot that that one was the same. Like it was, maybe it was. I, I just know it's sometime in the in September. I know that all right. for sure. <laughs> all good, all good. And so, um, when you did like the when you the first year you did the open and you did like the you know semifinals and stuff like that. Were you watching like other people in the group? And, and how many people were in the group for the short stature division? Let's see. First year, I think we had eight, six, six or eight, um, at least for the open. And then the semifinals, like it was a matter of them signing up or not, um, which I don't think as many did. But um, I know for this year, we had like 12 in okay. the open. So and then wheel wad was even more like, I know that because we, uh, we ended up, let's see, what was it? Um, we ended up with five at the finals for wheel wad. And, uh, I think there were eight that competed all together. So, I mean, that's, still growing it's getting yeah. bigger um you know we still got some work to do but you know again the more exposure we can get the better yeah definitely so when when you won the crossfit games in the short stature division like what was going through your minds about that you're like holy shit i actually want i actually won it I, it was i mean i'm a competitor so like i've always competed at something in my life whether it be sport like baseball like shooting hoops in the backyard with my brother and like mm. neighbor kids, neighborhood friends, or just like whatever. So, um, I've done fitness competitions before. Like the one was kettlebell. Like I did kettlebell sport for a couple of years. Oh, cool. I went to the Arnold, um, the Arnold classic or, and here in, uh, Columbus, it's held in Columbus every year. At least this one is. So, uh, I got to do that, and um, I was going up against just everybody, like in my weight class. So that was fun. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it was cool to see because like it was so many different things available, like so many different sports. I'm like, I didn't even know this thing existed. Like it was like a wrestling type thing where they had a board between their feet, and like whoever pulled the other guy over first, like yeah. won. I was like, I don't know what that's called, but like, this is cool to see. <laughs> yeah, it's it's definitely interesting seeing that, and like people take it like super serious too. Yeah, I mean, it's their like CrossFit games essentially. Like, that's what they want to do. That's what they do. Yeah, it's awesome. It, it was fun. It was cool. Like, makes for some big people watching because you got your bodybuilders, your powerlifters, like you just your random person who comes for the free stuff from the vendors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's like cool stuff. It yeah, you, you know what's good? Good people watching Disney. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is. It is so interesting. Like, I, 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 I love Disney. It's great. But it's just like some of the people that you're like, wow, this yeah. is like, I'm like, what are they thinking? Yeah, I get that. That's yeah. that's a, it's I've only been once and I was in fifth grade. And so it's been a while. Everything that's out there, jeez. 
yeah. all good all good so yeah. um when you won the crossfit games did you kind of try to find ways to promote you know the short stature division to other groups or like how how did uh, how did that work like my first year it wasn't so much about that for me like i was still trying to i was new so like I didn't have that following or like this anybody yeah. kind of, you know, there's connections just yet. Um, then this year happened and I won that, like won it again. I tied actually this year. Um, but I wanted to use this year to kind of actually one of our coaches at the gym, like she was kind of promoted to head coach slash as a like semi GM, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, and she's like, I want to get an adaptive program here. And I was like, all right, like, let's figure out who we have to talk to and like to get that happening. And we found all the right people and we have a, an adapt, like uh, an adaptive class every Wednesday at our gym, new Cove CrossFit. And um, it's, you know, it's, a, it's amazing. It's my favorite time of the week. Like, cause I never leave without like, feeling good like feeling full like heart full type of deal mm -hmm. um but i had a couple kids that i kind of mentor that have come to it but now they're like in the middle of school like it's hard like i get it like school is more important i mean i don't know why but you anyway. sure about that yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> but um so it's <clears throat> we'll get them back out we got another class that's going to start up at another gym here and at the end actually we're kind of kicking it off this weekend with a workout. It's called the Lou. Um, it's about like, it's helping fight ALS. Mm -hmm. So um, forty-four rounds with a partner. Of, yeah, luckily, like everything's in fours, so <laughs> it's going to fly pretty quick. I think, but mm -hmm. it's just going to be a matter of keeping track of how many times you've been through it. Yeah, exactly. I, so I had, I've ha I've had those situations where you have like thirty rounds, and you're, I'm like, I do one round. I'm like, what number am I at? And I just yeah. keep on asking the same thing over and over and over yeah. again. Yeah, my brain just shuts off. Like I just go into just survival mode, and I'm like, whatever happens, happens. Yeah, someone else keep track for me, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like just 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 put a line down. Like even like when I was doing yeah. Murph on myself, I literally had chalk, and I just like would just. Yeah like to, yep. to slash a line i'm like okay this is i was I, using poker chips and i i got to a oh, point yeah. where i was like all right which pow did i just pull from <laughs> <laughs> i was like i don't remember which pile i just grabbed from yeah that, that's so, a, that's why that's why a whiteboard's pretty good too so yeah that is a good one and usually i forget to mark it down and i'm like how many rounds have i done since i last marked this thing <laughs> Yep. That's why yeah. I need someone to count for me. Yeah, exactly. Like that, that. That's why I have a part. That's why I have a partner when I work out. It's just like because yeah. he he knows like what rep we're on, and I'm like yeah. I, I'm like, is this the third or the fourth? And he's like, this is the third. And I'm like, oh okay. So yeah, I just let's keep, see me just do that. So <laughs> I'm like, I need someone to keep track for me. As soon as yeah. I lose track, I'm done. Yeah. So, so uh, obviously you do like the you know, adapted class on Wednesdays and you're doing that, that, um, comp for ALS, like that, that competition for ALS. So what other things have you done to kind of help promote like the, you know, short, short stature in, uh, um, in other Just athletes kind of speaking out about it. Um, I have friends like being going to wheel wad, I was able to kind of meet people and like get to hear their stories. Um, like it was, you know, like I want to make it even better, like get bigger, like not, not bigger, but like use my platform now. And, you know, I have one, I have a small one, but it's still, still one. Yeah. So the more I can use it, the better. Like I've had people reach out to me and say, thank you, like for supporting us. Thank you for like, Hey, can you do this for us? Like at wheel wad, they asked me to, if I, got interviewed like after con like one of the wads they were like can you say something about this i'm like yeah like that's easy like make it something more difficult for me like not really but <laughs> i was like this is these are the things that i want to do like if i have the ability to do it i'm going to do it mm -hmm. so yeah i just yeah. want the way i kind of see it is like crossfit has a way to 
like bringing people together and like giving people something to live for or like not look not necessarily oh, yeah live for and look forward to so yeah. I mean, it's been a good thing it's been a good thing for me like i was in a tough spot coming out of covid like i didn't know like how work was going to be like because we couldn't we didn't play and at the end of 2020 2021 because of like ohio's like gathering rules Mm-hmm. So like we couldn't have more than 300 people in the arena and that counted the players and officials and like, well, there's a hundred people right there. <laughs> like, so 200 people into this 13,000 seat arena, like that's not, that's losing money. Yeah. So, um, but it was just nice to get back to that and have something to look forward to. And now I have, you know, now I found it and I get to use it. Nice. Very cool. So uh, obviously you just won the wheel wad in December. Yep. So how hard of a competition was that for actually going there and finding all the workouts and, you know, competing with the other athletes? Oh man, that was, it was tough because like the hardest part was like with the open, we have like five days to do it, right? Like Mm -hmm. each workout. So it's like, I have time to plan it out and like, Obviously, everybody does it Friday night, Friday night lights. Like, if, you know, if you haven't been part of that, like, it's something you should check out. That's oh, absolutely. Kind of sold me absolutely. On it. Yeah. Like, you know, it's like the one thing that sold me. Like, I know, like, like it sold me on it, like, sold me on CrossFit altogether. And then, um, but it's like, you know, I have a couple of days to figure it out. And if I don't like how I did, then I can redo it. But like this one, it was one or done. Like, I had less than 12 hours to, kind of talk it over with my coach and figure out the plan of action. And like some of the workouts, I ended up just kind of full sending it and saying, whatever happens, <laughs> happens. <laughs> and it worked. Luckily it worked this time, but yeah, you know, it's like it's one of their workouts was a run. Like uh, ours was a 400 meter run, but we were carrying a plate. So it was a 25 pound plate for the first round, a 15 pound for the second, and then no weight for the third. And I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to carry this plate. Like, I have never thought to carry a plate while running. And so I'm like, I'm going to try. I tried, like, the, the old boombox method, like, yep. on the shoulder. Um, and then I think I ended up doing it, like, five different ways around once. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> let's just get to where we don't have to carry this anymore. And that way I can just kind of sprint through this. Yeah. Which I couldn't I- really sprint because it was on a hill, mud. Oof. Cause it had just rained like the night before. So I mean, we, it was a good time though. It was fun. Yeah. So did you, did you like at, towards the end, did you hold like a discus? No, like, put, yeah. put your fingers through like the hole. I did. I, I went up over here and then I switched arms and then I held it in front and I tried to bear hug it. And then I don't even remember how I ended. I think it was, I think I was like holding it like a pizza, like you're carrying a pizza box. Like I think that's how I eventually carried it. So I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like my arms hurt, everything hurts. Like I can't figure this out. Yeah, yeah. Like, so, so when you were at the wheel, why would you? Were you looking at the leaderboard the whole time, or you just kind of like just in your own own zone and kind of just focus it on um, the workouts? Well, like what was nice is like we could like since it was live, like we knew kind of where we were already sitting um so it wasn't as much like scoreboard watching as it is like with the virtual stuff because you know I'm, i don't know what the next guy's doing like True. i don't know how long he's holding on to that score to post it and, you know like it's the it's part of the game which i kind of enjoy so i'm like that's why i can't let up at all like i go full send on those but even there it was like I was not like being able to kind of time myself on some of the things like I'm seeing where everybody else is. I'm like, well, I know he's got me on this. Like one of the workouts was basically four, four minute AMRAPs with a two minute break between like the first one was like a max meter row. Yeah. And then, um, then the one after that was push jerk with burpees, 10 push jerk, five burpees. And then he beat, like, I got beat by, like, six meters on the row. And I was like, come on now, Tim. Like, how did you do that? <laughs> and then I knew I was, like, I was, the other, like, the other people, a couple of the other guys were, like, ahead of me on the push jerk and whatnot. So I was like, all right, don't kill yourself here trying to play catch up because you have two other events. 
And uh, then one after that, like, I was able to, it was basically box get overs. So, like, we had the, like, luckily we weren't, like, the only thing we had to do was, like, make sure we had our hands off. Mm-hmm. We had to touch the top of the box. And then um, that was it. So, I was like, I can almost hop this thing. So, I was, like, playing around with it as I'm doing it. Like, how far can I go, still hit the top of the box, and it count? So, you know, I was things like that I was able to play around with like during it. And I ended up winning that one. Um, I, I, I'll admit this, but I was kind of playing with the people next to me because I could hear their judge counting their score. And so I'd bar- like burst ahead real quick. And then I'd sit there and I'd wait and let them kind of think they're catching up. And then I'd burst back up ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, all right, I got that one. And then the last one was like a, Four minute farmers carry with I think ours were twenty four kilogram bells, so fifty three pounds. Okay, yeah, the fifty three. So I was like, oh, and it's up this like ramp, up and down this ramp. So like, I'm like oh. this is brutal. Why is this the last thing? That's awful. But, so, so all in all, did you like the workouts that were at Wheel One? Oh yeah, they were fun. They were challenging. Um, and. It's nice like having a judge there to like that that understand like people here understand but they like don't understand at the same time like yep. now that i'm involved more and like they've seen me and everything like they're gonna be like they're actually more strict with me now which is even better which is what i want like hold me accountable like don't let me cheat any reps like that's what i that's what i'm having you judge me for like you know so um but it was it was they were enjoy like i enjoyed them like they were exhausting but like at the end of the day like it's a fitness competition like if you're not testing your mental like your mental even your mental toughness like yeah and what are you doing here like why are you doing the workout <laughs> yep no i hear you and so was it fun seeing all the other adaptive athletes killing it and like grinding out their workouts oh, it's- yeah that was probably my favorite part I, like if i had to do it again like the only thing i wish like i think i would change want to change is like if i either went first or last like in the first heat of the last heat because then it's like i could have had like we were kind of like right in the middle so like we missed out on like four heats warming up like trying to get ready for the next thing like at least at the first, with the first, uh, even I prefer, almost prefer first, so that way I can just get it done and sit and watch everybody else because I'm warming up while they're all still taking a little nap, you know, in between. Then I'll watch them for a bit and then go take a nap. But it was fun to, I mean, just seeing what some of these other people had to overcome. I'm like, I kind of have it easy. Like, I have use of both my feet, my legs, both of my arms, like. I have, yeah, I don't have any neuro issues, like, and my brain's working fine, like, mm-hmm. like, but some people would tell you otherwise, but I mean, for the most part, physically, my brain is working fine. <laughs> 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 but so it's like, you know, some of the stuff, like, you know, we, some of the people we saw, like, I'm like, you know, props to you, like, for not letting that get you down. Like, you know, this is amazing. Yeah. Do you, do you think that people want to be, um, what do you call it? I'm trying to think. Cause like, obviously you see people with like one arms doing clean and jerks and stuff like that. And like, everyone's like, oh my gosh, that's so inspiring. Do you, do you think that like, you know, you guys want to be looked at like that or do you just want to be like, Hey, I'm just here to work out and try to win. Like that's, that's a, I kind of don't like that word. To an ex, like it's not my favorite, um, because to me, like saying inspiring means that like I'm an inspiration means that like you're looking like less of me, like you almost see me as less. Exactly, like, less yeah. Person. That's kind of how I feel. Um, now, if you come up and tell me like I'm being a badass, I'm like, yeah, fine, like I'll take that one or think anything like that. But like, kind of that inspiration, like great like i'm i'm gonna accept the compliment but it's not my favorite i i, I am not a big a fan of, of that either that. yeah yeah it's like like you just think that i can't do something because of 
the way I look. Like, but I can. I can do the exact same things you can. I'm actually doing it better than you because I'm watching you. And <laughs> I know you're five rounds behind me, and I'm I'm like hanging out, while, like finishing the workout. And yeah. I did the same. I did the same. I didn't even like adapt it for me. I did the whole thing. <laughs> so like, yeah. Which uh, cause... one is it? Fran? Is it Fran? The twenty-one fifteen nine push thruster pull ups. Like, yeah. First time I ever did it. Like I did it at the ninety-five pounds, and everyone was like, I did it in, like just under right at six minutes, I think. Damn, that's and, that's that's impressive. Yeah, it was. I mean, that was when I was like. Uh, kind of tip top like I, I had a little bit more weight on me so i'm still trying to figure out pull-ups though like that's kind of what slowed me down the pull-ups are what slowed me down the most so i'm still yeah. playing around with them trying to figure out which one i like the best but um someone comes up to me from the like they they walk up and like like what are you going to do it in i was like i don't know like you tell me <laughs> and like i finish it and like i go up to them and they're like are you done yet? I was like, yeah. I'm like, what? <laughs> no way. <laughs> I was like, yeah, like, that's it. Like, that was all I did. <laughs> so, so. so with the pull so with the pull-ups, is it are, are you doing butterflies or are you is it mainly just like strict or you're just kind of like figuring out um, how to it's MacGyver. kind of like I'm doing my best with like butterfly. I'm trying to learn butterfly as best as I can, but um it's still kind of getting it all to click properly. Like there's a couple, like I call it my, like I call it like my Peter Pan movement, like in hook when he's learning how to fly again. Like he yep. realizes he's flying and he says, Oh no. And then he falls. Like, that's kind of what I, that's how I call it. Like I start getting it and I'm like, this is it. And then as soon as I say, this is it, I lose it. And I'm like, ah, you just not, you just need to stop saying this is it. I got yeah, it. That's pretty much it. It was the same thing with double unders at first. I was like, this is it. I got it. I got it. And then trip up or smack myself in the back of the head. And I'm like, all right, come on, Tim. Yeah, that, that was me with Toast Bar for a while. Like, I finally was just like, okay, I could string a couple and like get the momentum and all that stuff. And then yeah. I'm like, I got it. And then all of a sudden it just like falls apart. And then I'm like doing yeah. singles. And it's just like, I, what, what just happens? Yeah. That's how I've been. Like, I, I finally knock on wood i think i've got them the toes the bar down yep um it's more of a matter of just keeping the endurance up the stamina up on them and being able to hold it long enough because mm -hmm. once i get tired and my lats go like that's when i'm like I'm yeah shot. yeah that my my that it's my shoulders that get me yeah same like it's just that pulling down to get the toes up and kind of cheat that not, not necessarily cheat but kind of shut cut that distance down yeah and that's what gets it yeah it, it, that's that's to me with like chest bars too like i'm I, like i'm so long in the arms that it just oh yeah it looks like i'm just flailing all over the place but it's just yeah. like no i'm actually doing it the right way like this is the only yeah. way i can do it so. so that's like for i think i have like almost the exact opposite problem like my arms are so short that i can't quite pull my chest to the bar to pull like to hit it mm -hmm. so i do a kipping if it's chest the bar i'm doing kipping because it's the only way i can pull myself to even come close to hitting the bar and like kind of stick my thumbs out to cheating <laughs> well i mean it, i mean it, it, my thing is with the chest of bars if you're getting close and like kind of grazing it a little bit not actually like hitting it i i i mean i think it's fine yeah i mean that you're still chest to the bar so it counts yeah technically so I mean, that's all that matters right <laughs> yeah yeah so so what, once you won wheel wad in uh in december you know and you came back what 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 was your whole mindset after that were you like okay i got all these goals i want to hit I, I like you know i want to use this i know you said you want to use the platform to you know grow the grow the sport for you guys so uh, for the for the adaptive athletes sorry i didn't mean to say you guys no, but right. um but but like what what were your goals after wheel wide um <clears throat> honestly as i'm like, going through the workouts at wheel wide depending on how the workout went i would text my coach right away and be like we got to work on this i got to work on this i got to do this because some of the like issues i was running into were like bar i called it bar stamina like holding on to the bar, yeah. like 
getting that extra, like instead of taking that break, I know I have three reps left, like just holding on and just sucking it up for those three reps. Like mm -hmm. I was struggling to do that a bit. And, um, so I was like, I want to work on this stuff. And then I was like, I want to work on this. And so I was finding the week, it helped me find my weaknesses and like, what I need to really focus on. So, uh, took like a week off after I got done. Cause it's like 11 workouts in four days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and, um, geez, sorry. No, you're good. And, um, so it, it was just a week off. I was like the hardest thing for me to do. Cause I just wanted to get back out and like just do some movement. Just any kind of movement is all I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And like, I'm around everybody. I was like, I'm feeling great. I feel awesome. And then it turns out that I really wasn't because I tried to work out and on like Thursday after I got back, which was four days after. And I was like, yeah, I, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Very humbling. <laughs> don't, don't mind me. I'm just on the rower, just sitting here, just like barely moving That's the thing. Exactly don't don't worry. <laughs> How far have I gone? How long have I been on this thing? You've only gone 25 meters. What? Yeah. Tim, you pulled the thing once and that's the only thing moving. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> but, um, so, so what I, I know you could use a skier, you could use the rower, like mm -hmm. obviously the assault bike is going to be a little bit difficult, a bit like what have you guys, like, ha have you found a way to like use the assault bike to get the, somewhat of a stimulus? Um, Actually, they have um, Equip Products, which is kind of a company that makes a lot of adaptive equipment that we use. Um, they created basically another bike handle that oh. I turn, like instead of sitting down, like we face the fan like from the front mm -hmm. and the bike handles are basically an extension in the middle and we just do all arms. There's no legs involved, but. Um, that's how we did the bike. Okay. And it was, okay. It, it, that one was interesting. <laughs> um, it's definitely it a shoulder always, workout. Yeah. Like I, uh, actually learned like just being around sports in general, like I was able to like utilize my body weight as much as I could. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't necessarily like getting any kind of pulling. It was more using my body to shift and turn and kind of make the bike do what I needed it to do. Yep. Okay. Um, I think okay. that's kind of where yeah, it took the arms out of the equation essentially. Cause I only time I would bend was, you know, just to get kind of that extra range so I could push it back further. And like the body was doing all the work as best as I could. Okay. So, so are the, are these on the actual like assault bikes or are they on the echo bikes or that can they, can they go? Uh, on both? They actually have them for both. Like they're two different sets. So they have a, a set for like designed for the echo and a set designed for the uh uh the assault bike oh that's cool yeah so i mean it was i haven't bought them yet i should probably do that i'm getting ready to do that just because it's obviously there so it's something i need to work on um mm -hmm. so i'm gonna probably purchase those here probably make it a birthday present for me or something <laughs> Did me, you know, and also she get you should get one of those wing guard, uh, like little fan, like the covers for the yeah, fan, yeah, especially around this time. So, oh man, that was the worst part. I think was just the air blowing right up into my face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this feels good, but also like I can't breathe right now. So, <laughs> yeah, it's like you're like oh, keeping your mouth open the whole time just to at least yeah. try to get something. You're like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And there's a big dust bunny, right? Yeah, of throat. course. Yeah. Right down yeah. the throat. Yeah, like with, with my gym, it's a, it's like an old powerlifting gym that has like some CrossFit wow. equipment. So they actually have an echo bike and it gets a little dusty in there once in a while. And so sometimes I'm oh. like, when I first start, you'll see like you see just yeah, a little little yeah. poof. And this is like, <laughs> oh my god, I gotta hold my breath for like 10, 15 seconds. This is not good. Oh. Not how I wanted to start this bike right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And even my even my uh my my gym buddy, he's like, I don't want to get on the bike. Like it is too cold to even get the, like yeah. to have the fans just like blast in your face. I'm I'm good. Yep, that's sweet. Actually, we haven't used them in a while. I, I've seen, but I'm gonna probably get a set here soon so I can actually start using them and get used to it because. 
I know they're going to be in there at some point, whether it be, I don't think it'll be during the open or semifinals because they won't expect everybody to have the handles. True. Um, but at least in the finals, like, you know, we'll know we'll have it. So yeah, I just got to do it. <laughs> yeah, of course. So, um, do you, do you like wheel wide separating from, from the CrossFit games to like have their own little competition or like what, what's your thought on that? Well, just with how I've seen, like just from what I've heard, I like, can seen from like the past two years, like as far as coverage goes, like for the adaptive and age divisions, like I think it's better for us because instead of focusing solely on like kind of being now we're not like the second level, like tier, like we're, we're our own thing. So, you know, we're going to be able to get the spot with the backing of CrossFit being able to have, instead of 30 athletes go, like we're going to have 300 total this year. At least that's the plan is to be able to have 300. So, you know, here I am pushing to go to the games and now I get to go versus like getting invited for a medal ceremony and like, you know, that's not like, it's cool. Like I appreciate that, but it's also like, let me do something while I'm there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, and also with, with the money and stuff like that, uh, how, how does, how does that work for you guys? Well, um, I ended up winning $5,000 each year. So, I mean, that's a chunk of change that I didn't have going into it. So, for a twenty dollar workout, so I can't complain. <laughs> <laughs> I think the return on investment was pretty good for that one. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. So um, I don't know what it's going to be this year, though. So probably, probably around the same, I would think. Yeah. So do you do you think do you think that like you like other companies can sponsor adaptive athletes to get like, you know, them to be able to go to like different competitions or like, what, what do you think about um, how that might work? That I think you'll see that more now that we're going to have kind of a bigger uh, following. Like it's not kind of like, there's nothing there. Like, um, like, you know, instead of having kind of the fight for, you know, sponsorships with like a Justin Medeiros or like any of those guys, like we, it's going to be, all right, well, we have these guys like now let's branch out to the adaptive side. Cause like these guys are doing the same exact thing just as fun. Yeah. So I think, I think you'll see more soon. <laughs> Gosh. You're good. You're good. Here, that. All right. So my last question about wheel wide, right. how much pre-workout did you take at the, at that competition? Um, so I'm not a big pre-workout guy. Um, I'm not a fan of the beta alanine more so than anything. <laughs> I don't like that tingly. Um, I've just never been a fan of, I don't know, like, but, um, it's more of the amount of caffeine that I drink. <laughs> like they had like monster or no, they had rain and, uh, cow, cow bell, cow, cow something. It's like a recovery drink with like a little bit of cat. It's almost like a, uh, um, kill cliff. Okay. And there's a little bit of caffeine in it and with some turmeric to help recover. So like I go drink one of those right after a workout and then um kind of grab a uh um I grab a rain. I actually I think I came home with like two weeks worth of rain. So I just grabbed like three at a time. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, Yeah, no one saw that. <laughs> nope, nope. So, and then, like, you, you go to the airport, they're like, why is there, like, a canister of, like, a whole <laughs> case of, like, rain energy drinks yeah. in, like, your carry-on? I don't know. I don't well, I don't know. I don't know, ma'am, how they got there. Luckily, I drove, so I didn't have to worry about Oh, that. that's even better. So. Yeah. so I had all the space in my car. It was just me, so I had all the space in my car to kind of bring it all back. 
Yeah. I, I could I could see you just like like picking up three and like going to like oh I gotta go my car I forgot, I forgot my knee sleeves or I forgot something like you know and just like throw them in there and they come back later and they just grab some more. Oh, I gotta get it from my buddy over here. Like hold on. Yeah, yeah. This, this, my, exactly my, my, my buddy's looking for that. Well, there's there's nobody against that wall. Um, yeah. He's in, he's invisible. Damn it. So just yeah. leave me alone. He was there. I promise. <laughs> We got all sorts of adaptive athletes here. We got some people turning invisible. Yes, yeah, so they identify as invisible. So <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. But um, so I I I first I I first saw you. I think I I got I saw you on Instagram, and then all of a sudden, like you went on the Savon podcast, mm -hmm. and obviously that's like the biggest CrossFit podcast you yeah. can get on. So what, what was going through your mind saying, like, were you like nervous the whole time? Like, holy crap, I'm actually going on this guy's show or um, like, I'll be honest. Like, I still don't know a lot of the people in CrossFit. Like I, I like this sport. I enjoy it. Like I kind of follow like some of the games. Like I don't watch the whole thing. Um, I only watched a lot of Palooza because like my friends, I had friends there. So I was watching mm -hmm. their stories, like their updates. Um, like just being around, like, so I didn't know who he was, like, until people told me, like, I just remember waking up one day and I was like, where did all these followers come from? Like, where did all these, what, what's going on? Where is my name? Why is my name being thrown around? Like that all these people are following me all of a sudden, like, and I brought one, like Savan's name up to a friend of mine and he's like, no way. It's like, yeah, like, look at this. <laughs> and he was like. That is like, that's huge, dude. I was like, what? So, I mean, it was cool to go on there and like get to meet him. Like, he's such a, he's a cool guy. Like, he was fun to talk to. Like, very just whatever happens, happens type of guy. Yeah. Which makes it fun. Yeah. I, I, I like, I kind of like his interviewing style a little bit. Yeah. Because he even says it himself, he kind of acts a little dumb just to get the questions out, the answers that answers out that he wants to, so the yeah. listeners can understand like what's going on in that situation. Yeah, and he's not afraid to ask like the tough questions either. Oh no, like, which is perfect. Like that's that's all we need now. Like yeah, don't beat around the bush. Like just tell me what I. I know what you want to know. Like, just ask it. <laughs> yep. Yep. So, um, are you, are you looking to travel around to like Wadapalooza in California? Like what, what's your, uh, what's your CrossFit destinations for this year? Let's see this year. Um, I'm going, I'm actually headed to the UK at the end of April. Oh, nice. Uh, they have, uh, it's called the adapt AON. I don't all adapt all or nothing. Like it's an adaptive competition, which I have friends that over there, um, They've been asking me to come over so I can finally do it. Um, so I'm going to head over there at the end of April. I was going to go to the Sea Dog Summer Showdown at the beginning of April. Um, but our gym's hosting an L2 course that weekend. And I'm like, I, that was another part of my winning. So it's a course. So I had my L1. So I was like, it's in my backyard. Like, I don't have to travel for it. Like, it's too good of an opportunity to pass up so yeah i'm gonna do that instead like i, I hated it but I hated to drop, like pass it up so yeah you're at, down. that that l2 will be definitely worth it don't worry yeah so i was like i can't pass this opportunity up like in my backyard like it's for free so yeah you know what would i what else would i do like true but i plan on going to that one next year <clears throat> and then i'm kind of looking around more like driving drivable type competitions like mm -hmm. haven't really looked a whole lot um just because of still i mean obviously with the open coming up next month like i'm kind of focusing on that at the moment and then um you know once adapt hits like our semifinals are like a week and a half after i'll get home so that will be preparing for that and luckily our finals aren't till september so i know i'm gonna want to hit one or two up in june july august before that just so i can kind of keep the competitive juices flowing mm -hmm. so but i'll do waterpalooza again i'll try it i'll try it again um kind of had video like my one video like i had a video my first year trying it not go through like i did it through we time and i like didn't upload and i was like yep. come on so that kept me out um and this year i messed up my pistols on one of the workouts um like that kind of 
took my score way down. So yeah. I couldn't, I didn't go this year either. So this year I want to make sure everything's foolproof, bulletproof, like can't be, you know, you know, if, it, if I don't make it, it's because somebody, everybody else beat me, not because like my video, like I didn't live up to this. I didn't do the standards, right. Follow mm -hmm. standards correctly. Or like my video didn't work. Yeah. So I just okay. gotta make sure they're not watching the videos in Russia because apparently Russia keeps banning my videos because <laughs> of music. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, well, good thing you guys are in the States, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, exactly. I, I can't imagine that visa that try to get over there anyway. Yeah. I was like, I'm, I don't feel like dealing with those guys right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. We're, we're getting close to the end. So we, I have some rapid fire questions. They're not okay. really rapid fire, but they're just kind of, you know, just questions. So obviously you have, what are your goals for, you know, the rest of 2024, like personal or, you know, business wise or, or whatever. I know you, I know winning the games is the main thing, but like what, yeah. what, what are other things you have goals for? Goals for this, like hopefully you get a muscle up by the end of the year. Okay. Uh, I'm close. Like it's there. It's just getting everything timed right. Then like getting that pull over, like, cause I get my hips up to the bar pretty good. It's just, so I think that's going to be my big one uh, as far as next, um, next uh, like skill to learn. Mm -hmm. It's going to be the muscle up and then um, kind of growing adaptive, like the adaptive divisions, like even our division, the short stature division. I have like the two kids. I said, like I, mentor here i'm going to work with a group that's like a non-profit in the area about getting like, to get them signed up for it like and not having to worry about paying so we'll do that get that taken care of to help just so they can experience it more than anything that's all yeah. i really wanted to do and then um kind of you know feed them the kool-aid if you will um and then just kind of travel more like I would like to, like, I'm going to the UK, so that's a huge one for me. Like, plane tickets finally got back under 700. They're actually at eight for a while. And I'm like, okay, all right, this is fine. This is all fine. And uh, so I'm going to do that. Like, I obviously, I finally found one at, like, 640. So I'm like, I'm jumping on it. I'm not waiting. Because yep. I've been getting emails saying, like, you know, like you know, did the whole follow this flight and see what happens. And they've all been like back over 700. I'm like, all right, good. I'm glad I didn't wait. Yeah. Um, and then just finding other comps, like again, within the air, like within relative driving distance, um, just because I don't want to pay for, I don't, I like flying, but I hate dealing with airports. So if I don't have to deal True. with an airport, like the better. So then I like having my own vehicle. Like I don't want to, I don't want to rent a car and like try and deal with all that junk. I, I'm in the same boat as you. Like I'd rather drive my car to go to this place. Yeah. yeah. If it's within, if it's under eight hours, like I'll do it. Eight or under, like I'll do it. Like I'll drive. Because I mean, by the time you think, if you think about it, like by the time you get to the airport, get on the plane. It's eight hours. Out, it's going to take the same exact time. And it's like, well, I just spent that much more money doing that than if I would have just driven myself. Like why? Yeah 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 so. pretty much yeah all right next question what is your favorite book my favorite book cool oh that's a good one um honestly i was a big game of thrones guy like i'm big like kind of like that fantasy lord of the rings like that type so probably like if i had to say one of those books like it's game of thrones for sure um just because I watched the HBO series, um, kind of as I was reading them, but it was uh, like Clash of Kings, which is the third one. And okay. Like it's the longest one, but it's like the most like intense. Like, cause every like all these people dying everywhere, and I'm like, what just happened? Like you, you like a character, and the next thing you know, they're dead. I'm like, what the hell, George? Like, yeah. what are you doing to me? <laughs> So, you, you know, I've never seen one episode of that show. No, nah, it's it's a good one. Like the last season was a little like eh, because they crammed them all into like eight episodes versus the ten. Yeah. So like it kind of made it a little like you didn't get the time frame difference. Like 
as well. Like it was like, well, how far along are we? Yeah, you know that trip took six hours or six mm-hmm. week months, like in real time. So like in the book time. So it's like now we're here. Like they just left. Like how are they there already? Like what's going on? Yeah, how much time has passed? Like nobody's even grown a beard. Like come on, <laughs> let's fix this. <laughs> that's awesome all right next question what is in your gym bag in my gym bag um three pair of shoes i have a pair of chuck taylors which are my uh lifting shoes so if i'm just lifting those are what i lift in because they're the flat sole i have a pair of innovates that i use for kind of my lifting slash like uh everything else wad like if there's any kind of olympic lifting i use those mm. so and they're also my rope climbing shoes and then i have a pair of reebok uh nanos i think they're the twos like they were on sale so i didn't care like they fit they're nice they're comfortable they're kind of my wide with running shoes okay so, and then two pair of grips a pair of bear complex that i no longer use and a pair of element 26 um my belt kind of hangs around the side. I have some chalk in there, some bands, and some other miscellaneous things that I don't even know what's in there anymore. I should probably clean it out. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. important things in there. <laughs> awesome. All right. So next question. It's a little, little, um, little deep. So, you know, let's just say it's your last day on Earth. How do you want people to know you as? Uh Let's see. How do I want to like, know how I want them to know me? Like, like I want my legacy. Essentially, I want my legacy to be something as like this is like this guy changed the world, or at least he's like led other people to help, like put the ball in their court to change the world. Like because of him, like this world's a better place. That's awesome. Yeah, I like that one. I like that one. Um, all right. Next last question. Where can people reach out to you if they have any questions on, you know, the adaptive side of CrossFit? You know, how do you get how do they how can they get involved or even judging or stuff like that? Um, they want to reach out to me, just follow me on Instagram, Tater Tot one one nine five is my handle. T A T E R T Zero T O T one one nine five. Um, that's the easiest way to get a hold of me. Um, I mean, you can reach out to me on Facebook, but like, there's like a million Tim Murray's, so I'm trying to find the right one. <laughs> yeah, it won't be as easy. Yeah, uh, I don't know how to. Like, every time I sign up for something, they're like, "What's your Facebook URL?" I'm like, "I don't even know how to find that." <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do? There's so many. <laughs> yeah, there's so many links in here. Like, I don't know what this thing does. Like. But um, Instagram is the easiest way. And then you can always go to wheelwad.com as well. Like They'll have everything adaptive. Is, you know, that's the next thing. Awesome. Well, dude, thank you for coming on the show. I appreciate yeah, it. No, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. This is awesome. Yeah. Awesome. I'd love to have you back on too. Yeah, no, I've, I'll definitely come back on. <laughs>